Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so I got someone asking me many times to do this topic. It's a guy. So he wants me to do a topic about women who chase after men. Women who are high up with degrees, money, all that kind of stuff who chase after men. Like, why do they chase after men? What do I think about it? Do I think it's a good idea? Do I think it's okay? Um, honestly, if I was a woman who had everything and had lots of money and work and was my boss, my own boss and just had it like that and I didn't need money or anything from a man and I was considered the breadwinner and I saw a cute guy who looked like this and who looked like that and had the perfect body and was just very beautiful would I go after him because I've never been able to have someone like that um well probably not because um like I'm just gonna be honest when I was younger I you know I were <laughs> I can't even talk today y'all because this subject is so funny for me okay so when I was younger I dated male models I dated very very attractive guys when I was younger so that's not that doesn't turn me on anymore okay it's like I've been there done that um, <laughs> so I wouldn't really go for a guy with looks because I've already had that so you know as far as women who you know were in the books were in college were studying and grinding to get to the top and they never had time to you know do certain things or date certain type of men or could attract certain type of men uh, and they want that I mean I think it's perfectly fine to explore that option and if chasing those pretty boys are what they want to do that's fine because you know they didn't get to do it at, at a younger age now that they're you know successful and they have time and money they can go do it a lot of women do that at younger ages and they learn the hard way but they learn it young so they don't waste time making the mistakes when they get older so basically i say go go out and do it live and learn learn life lessons um i don't think women should chase men personally i don't think it's a good idea because it's almost like role reversal okay you're taking his job away from him he's supposed to chase you okay it's it's not very feminine to chase behind a man and if you do chase behind a man and they see you chasing behind him or them they're going to automatically see you as more masculine and they're not going to treat you as they would treat the woman that they have to chase so they're going to see you as you know expendable like she she wants me I can basically treat her any type of way I want I can get away with more because she actually wants me you know there's something about me then they start getting you know a big head and think that you need them and that they can get away with certain things talk to you a certain way because you're actually feminizing them by chasing them okay now they're starting to feel like a woman would feel if they were being pursued by a man so it's a mental game so you never chase a man you never chase a man especially when you're an older woman because it, it makes you look desperate it makes you look like you know I know some of um, some people call them cougars and oh I want a younger man that's fine when you're old and you've done it all and you're not trying to you know settle down get married and all that stuff and you just want to play that's perfectly fine because you know men do it all the time with women so I mean I don't see why there's a double standard but if you're trying to settle down get married and have kids you don't pursue that man because that relationship and that marriage is going to be crisscrossed you're gonna be treated like the man and you're gonna be treating him like the woman and if that's what you want as a woman you want to be in charge you want to be boss lady you want to make decisions you want a man who's going to do whatever you say then that's fine you know some I know some women like that I know some women like that and they could not live with a man who would not do whatever they told them to do they were like you know what I'm, I'm boss lady you need to do what I say if you want to be in my life I can't deal with any man talking back to me what I say goes okay and we know a lot of celebrities who probably 
feel like that and that's why they've gone through so many divorces but I know a few women like this and they have to be the dominant person in the relationship and when you look at it from the outside the woman seems more masculine and the man is more feminine um, not as far as you know sexuality but as far as actions like the man has to ask permission to do certain things I know a couple right now who the woman is has got the money she will take car keys away if she's mad at her husband and he can't he can't drive nowhere <laughs> she will take his credit cards she will take everything and she will say she will say no you can't go anywhere and this is the funny thing about it it's my husband's best friend and he tried to tell him look what did you get with her why did you get with her why don't you go and because he has a degree the guy has a degree but he doesn't want to go and get a job he just wants to live off this lady so <laughs> my husband has to go pick him up and take him places when his wife gets mad at him and takes his keys okay the wife is the boss lady the wife pursued him he's a pretty boy okay so basically this is this is how things end up when the woman has all the power and the money she treats the man just like a child okay so y'all don't want that it might seem flattering at first it might seem oh this lady she likes me I'm you know I feel you know I feel good like as a man that this woman is pursuing me and she's all that but when you get down into the relationship she's gonna end up being the man and you're gonna be the woman or the child basically you're gonna basically be a child um, I know plenty of women who cannot get in line with men leading or even having equality in the relationship they turn into lesbians because they cannot have any anybody over them and they're just you know it's just their mentality they have control issues so like I said it's cute at first it's flattering if it's just for fun and not serious dating or serious relationships that's fine but if you are trying to get married to somebody and you know you're letting her chase you you're gonna end up being the child in the relationship many years down the line and you're gonna have to call your friend to come pick you up when she takes your keys okay and if you think that oh I got my own money and I got my own stuff when you move into her house and you get married and stuff like that um, it doesn't matter because women are sneaky and they will find a way to control you <laughs> especially when they have employees and they're used to being the boss they're gonna boss you around at home as well okay now I don't I don't really recommend any woman ever chasing behind a man because to me it's supposed to be the other way around we are the prize you know some men think they are the prize but sadly you know they learn lessons too late they feel trapped they end up you know they end up unhappy with this woman because they don't feel like a man anymore so they look to other women who will make them feel like men and then they will cheat and because they want to feel masculine again and they cannot feel masculine with a woman who's you know um, making more money than them who's pursuing them who's chasing after them they feel like the woman and so they see all their friends in opposite situations where they're the man in the relationship and the woman is you know being pursued and chased and they miss the chase they're like oh my god I miss chasing women you know I miss that thrill when you know I, I can um, impress her and you know she's a challenge to me and I have to figure her out I miss that because I'm masculine and that's natural to me they start to miss being a man and being masculine so they start looking for other women to try to impress I mean um, if y'all know all the relationships that you've seen celebrities like Jennifer Lopez Halle Berry um, you know Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon all those women are more like divas and you know that they were like really probably dominant over their husbands and they were like well I'm running things I'm 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 JLo um, I'm Haley um, I'm Mariah okay I make all this money I'm rich you know you're gonna listen to me if you don't like what I I want then you know bye so when you have this type of woman you're not going to be able to do it what you want fully and freely you're not gonna be happy you're not gonna be the one in charge you're not gonna even be equal you're gonna be like her child her flunky her assistant okay now when it's with the woman and a man 
that's normal. Okay, a woman likes to look up to her man. A woman likes that masculinity. She likes, you know, someone who knows what they want and not afraid to, you know, to say it. She likes being able to brag on her husband. She likes being chased. She likes all of that. Okay, she likes being taken care of. She likes feeling feminine and she likes, um, you know, the challenge of, you know, cat and mouse game. And that's normal for a woman, you know? So when you reverse the roles, you're not gonna like the end results. And it's gonna end up backfiring on you as a male because you're not gonna feel like you're a man. And you're gonna start overcompensating in public around other people when she um, treats you like she does at home. And they're gonna know you're overcompensating because she's gonna give you some crazy looks. Like, did he just say that? Wait till he get home, taking his credit card. Or wait till he gets home. He's gonna, you know. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna look at you like, did you just really say that in public to me? And then, and then you're gonna feel afraid to go home, okay? So basically, it doesn't work. And if it does work, it's only working for a temporary short amount of time until you can't take it no more as a man and you remember you had testicles and you say hey i'm the man i can't live like a child anymore i gotta go <laughs> and you know no disrespect to those boss ladies i respect you but you gotta find someone on your own level who will chase you okay if you ever notice all those celebrities that leave their 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 men they either have to go get billionaires who are above them and who, who can be the man in the relationship or they stay single okay you gotta go you can't you can't get someone under here you got to get someone higher than you to make you feel more feminine okay you don't want to feel like the man in the relationship so if you're a millionaire if you're a boss lady you got to get someone on top of you making more money than you to feel feminine okay and I know a lot of guys are gonna disagree on that and they're gonna say well what about if he's just strong and muscular and has a good attitude he's still gonna be treated like a child because she knows that she is the breadwinner, that she has all the, the cards, that she has all the money, you know, this lifestyle is because of her. Now, if a, she had a billionaire or a millionaire who could say, hey, let's go to Paris this weekend, it's on me, well, let's go call off to work, okay? Or, hey, baby, quit that job for a year, take a year off, let me just, let's go around the world. That is masculine to a boss lady, okay? And she will be like, oh. you know, a guy who, she's pursuing that's less than her they can't say that to her they can't say that to her <laughs> so it's not going to it's not going to keep her she's going to she's going to start craving that masculinity again and she's going to start seeing it as a child so that's why it's important for men to stop trying to be women and tr stop trying to switch roles with us and just either stay on your level um, stay within the range of woman that you can actually get or be someone's experiment and play toy and <laughs> you know enjoy life that way until you get to a certain age and you need to settle down um, you know hopefully you'll find the one but yeah I wanted to cover this topic because I think a lot of men are getting confused of their roles today and they don't feel like there should be any roles and then they feel like women should pursue men but I will say that stupid Revlon commercial that has the woman pursuing the man is dumb and it looked desperate and it's just a marketing tool to sell you know some makeup you know that's not really selling anymore okay female empowerment is not gonna sell your outdated packaging and makeup okay <laughs> y'all I used to wear Revlon in the 90s I still have a few Revlon products but let's face it they're trying too hard with those videos if y'all haven't seen them okay it's about their videos have women actually approaching men and I think it's it's silly okay they have they don't even feel confident enough in themselves wearing this makeup to let the man come to them okay now what does that say about your product okay all right y'all <laughs> if you agree with me y'all put thumbs up if y'all disagree with me don't put thumbs down just tell me why you disagree with me and explain your part okay because I like to know I like to hear other perspectives too all right I'll see y'all later bye